hi again. So, talking about stress, anxiety, depression, and what I know from myself, my own experience with myself, <laughs> and um, talking to many other people and my clients, hmm, is that a lot of times, you know, it's not other people who cause us stress. It's not the circumstances that are causing us stress. It's not life itself that is causing us stress. It's ourselves. And why? Because we constantly chase ourselves. We constantly put pressure on ourselves. You have to do this. You have to do that. And that's not good enough. And maybe maybe we compare ourselves to others, right? And we always look on the other side. And the grass on the other side is always greener. And um, we always think we have to be perfect. But look around in nature. Nothing is completely or totally perfect. Huh? Perfection. Mm. is nowhere to be found. So why do you try so hard to be perfect? You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be alive. Hmm. And why are you so hard on yourself? Are you this hard on other people? On your partner, on your kids, on your colleagues, on your parents? Could be. Mm. Because often how we treat ourselves reflects in our behavior towards others. But you know, we don't want to be even too hard on others because it only causes pressure and stress and unease and is not bringing us towards our value, peace, hmm? and caring and loving. So think about it. Why are you so hard on yourself? And in it, um, we can figure that out easily when we look a little bit into our past and into our upbringing. Mm -hmm. So I, for example, I grew up in Germany, right? And um, I had a nice childhood, you know, but uh, in Germany, you know, especially where I grew up, you know, it was always about work. Mm, I come from a normal family, you know, no big business people or rich family no a normal family but there was always work to do hmm? so my dad had a full-time job my mom was working full-time my grandpa was working and I went to school and then spent the afternoon with my grandpa grandma but also my grandma she was always doing something working in the garden cooking baking cakes cleaning I never saw my grandma just sitting down in the afternoon when it got dark okay my grandpa he would go to work full time and then come home and then continue working at the house, in the garden. Uh, my dad, full time work. And then when he got home, or especially on the weekends, my dad and my grandpa would take the tractor and they would go out into the woods and cut wood. My mom, the same. I, I would never see my mom, you know, like just lying down in the afternoon doing nothing, watching a movie. And when I would get older, and I moved to the city and then came home and I would tell my mom, Mom, why, why you never go to a spa? Why do you never treat yourself? And uh, my mom was always like, oh, what would other people say if I just spend the whole day at the spa? Or I'd ask my mom, why do you never get a manicure and put some nail polish on your nails? And she would always say, no, what do I do with nail polish on my nails? You know, when people in the village see me with nail polish... Um, they think I'm not working because you can't work in the garden with nail polish on. <laughs> it's going to be ruined. You know, these are little things that condition you when you're a kid, right? So obviously you grow up with the idea that there is always something that has to be done. Huh? And you're only allowed to relax at night or on a Sunday. And all other things are a priority. And then you think about yourself if you're still uh, capable of thinking about yourself after all the things you have done. So look back into your past. How did you grow up? Were your parents very hard with you? Did they always put pressure on you? Hmm? Could you never be good enough? Hmm? Did they always have to criticize something? Or did you see your parents always doing something? Hmm? Did you see your mother or your father taking care of themselves? Or you never saw that? So how are you supposed to learn it huh, if you never saw that, right? Or did you grow up in a very competitive family? Or did you really have to uh, make an effort to get your parents' attention? 
Like, always be the best. Mm, you know, all these things, they influence your behavior now. But all these things happen when you were a little kid. And now you're probably an adult. Mm? So you can change your story. Mm? You don't have to be perfect. And you don't have to prove anything to anyone, especially not to yourself. You don't have to prove anything to your parents anymore because your parents, even if they don't say it or they don't show it, but parents just want their kids, their children to be independent and to be happy. Mm? So you don't have to prove anything to them anymore. And you don't have to fight for their attention and their love anymore. Parents love you anyways, even if they can't express it. Mm? So, or they don't express it in the way you want them to express it. And there we are again at the same point. Things are not always as you want them to be. <laughs> so think about yourself. Mm? Reflect, maybe journal, maybe write it down. What in your past has conditioned you? That today as an adult, you are putting so much pressure on yourself and you never feel good enough and you always think you have to do more and you're not allowing yourself time for yourself and not you're not allowing yourself to take care of yourself and you're not allowing yourself to do nothing sometimes. Hmm? Or why do you feel guilty when you do nothing? Think about that. And then think about all this pressure you're putting on yourself that is causing you stress and anxiety and depression. Why? You don't get anything out of it. Hmm? And do you really need all this success? For what? Do you really need to make all this money? Do you really need to have this huge car and this huge house and the best clothes? And why? Reflect on that. Ask yourself and set priorities. Mm? do the things that are most important first and then maybe the rest of the things you can do tomorrow. And if you are not doing all the things today, what's going to change? Are you going to die? Mm -mm. Is it going to hurt someone else? Probably not. Are you going to lose everything you have? Probably not. So ask yourself when you set your priorities, Mm? And you organize your day. What do I really have to do today? And what can also be done tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? Or maybe I don't ever have to do it. Don't put pressure on yourself. You are enough. Mm? And focus on the little things. The little things you do every single day. You got up in the morning... Great accomplishment. A lot of people can't even get up in the morning. Had your coffee, brushed your teeth, took your shower. Great. Already did something. Be proud of yourself for the little things you are doing. Hmm? Don't diminish the little things you're doing every single day. It's enough and nothing's going to happen. Hmm? If you do a little bit less every day and you take time for yourself every day. Love yourself. Enjoy your life. You're not here in this life to work and to achieve and to get somewhere. Just live, be alive sometimes and tell this to yourself constantly when these thoughts are coming up and they're chasing you. Stop them. Immediately start repeating, I am enough. It's okay, I've already done enough for today. Hmm? Let me know. If you're chasing yourself, let me know if you figured out anything about your past or if you need help dealing with anything from your past. Just comment below and share hmm? and you'll figure out that we are all sitting in the same boat. <laughs> Take good care.